do we need allies? So I'm at a place where I'm struggling right now mm. with the need for allies, right? So mm-hmm. if we have everything we need. Mm. And and every day I, I waffle on mm-hmm. this because, you know, on one hand I feel like, okay, if racism is going to be eradicated, white people are going to have to acknowledge that their race, race is a made-up construct and mm-hmm. they have to, uh, you know, relieve themselves from this notion of whiteness and mm-hmm. white supremacy and all of that. And we need them to do that because it's a them problem, not an us problem, that impacts us dramatically. So mm-hmm. it becomes our problem because of the construct, right? Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, if we just build the communities that we want, then... Let them figure it out once they don't have access to all of the goodness that we bring into the world. If we are self-sufficient in our own communities and our businesses are circulating dollars within our community the way others are. Again, I was driving somewhere. I often talked about the Korean signs while I was someplace else, and there was a sign completely in Spanish. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I made out a couple of words, <laughs> but <laughs> they aren't selling to me. Mm-hmm. And they apparently don't. It's a billboard. Somebody spent money on, mm-hmm. lots of money, to put a billboard on a major highway that's completely in Spanish. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. that's a community that doesn't need outside help. Mm-hmm. So if we focus on that, mm-hmm. then they'll figure it out because they're going to always have to need us before we need them. That's how I think about it. Right. So do you need allies in the space do or do you create the need to have to come to this way? I think you do both. I think you do both and I think I think you have to do both because um we the the rate of change that is required, we don't have time for. And so mm-hmm. because we don't have time for that and because we don't want to end up in this situation again, <laughs> right. If if the leaders of this particular march should go away or be recruited to the other side, then where does that leave us if we don't have allies? Right. Um, and I also think about it if, if I think about my neighbors. Right. If I think about my community or, or how I view my community, um, I think everybody can learn from our lesson that we have to teach. So I don't want to just kind of keep this story close to the my, my to the vest because it's it, because that's what's been done up until now. That's why we're in the position that we we're in. I, I posted a video on YouTube uh, with a caller, and they were like, a couple of people in the comments, because I'm in the comments. You mm, know, I'm, I, I am too. Com- I read your comments, and I may comment, or I may delete you. Mm-hmm. No, anyway. But um, actually, I haven't done too much deletion on YouTube. It's mm-hmm. a different space. But they were like, you should just engage, Karen, engage. You just cut them off, and then you just don't talk. And I'm like, is it my job to educate these people who apparently were raised by wolves, who have zero humanity, <laughs> who've been listening to the show and still don't get it, because that's the other thing. If you're tuning in on a regular basis, as right. you say, I listen to this show, mm-hmm. and, and you would have the audacity to pick up the phone, dial 866-801-8255, and wag your finger at me, mm-hmm. and tell me that I'm a racist or whatever, then you're not somebody that I want to educate. Well, uh, I just, I'm just, I, I can't absolutely do that, but right. am I wasting time trying to win hearts and minds yeah. When uh, I should be feeding people. Well, so, and, 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 I, and, and that's the nuance in this. So I have no interest in trying to, and I, and I view all of this as help. Let's just be clear. I have no interest in trying to help people that show up in a hateful way. My focus is on people who are trying to process how they've lived their entire lives. So the same way I talk about how my mother embedded certain things in me, that happens everywhere. But then you have people and they get out into the world on their own and they're trying to figure out, is this the best way to live? Is there a different way? Those are the, the people who are curious and hungry enough to know if there's a better way to show mm-hmm. up and live. Those are the people that I'm trying to reach. So Not the hateful people okay. who have already decided. No. So, so there are some people who present hateful but maybe trying to understand. Mm-hmm. So they need to learn rules of engagement because apparently they weren't raised properly. Right. So they don't know even how. So here's the other thing. Mm-hmm. They're not used to talking to us in any manner other than down to, mm-hmm. right? Which is why I'm very hyperly sensitive to that. Right. So I'm going to let you know you're not in charge. Right. Because you may not have heard that before. <laughs> so I'm going to let you know that and then I'm going to proceed to then demonstrate why you're not in, and how you're not in charge. Right. Because this is something that I think particularly white men, mm-hmm. so-called white men, mm-hmm. have been conditioned to believe that they're supposed to be in that position mm. where they get to tell you what to do. They're always bosses. They're always... So right. So when they run into a situation where your their, their career, you know, their livelihood is in the hands of somebody black, they don't know how to handle that. Mm-hmm. 
or in this situation where they feel like they can just pick up the phone and say whatever they want. No, you don't have freedom of speech. This is not a demo- democracy here. This is a dictatorship, mm-hmm. and I'm in charge. Mm-hmm. So deal with that. Mm-hmm. And it, it infuriates them. Mm-hmm. But can we make allies out of people, not the, the angry people that call up and demand whatever to be heard? Mm-hmm. Can we make allies out of people who are silent? So um, Tatiana, excuse me, Tatiana lost her life. Mm-hmm. I don't see police officers in droves saying that was horrific. Botham John shot in his home. I don't see police officers. I don't see a lot of white people mm-hmm. out there saying this is ridiculous. Right. Not, there are people online. There's some folks that listen to this show that are part of this family. Right. But I'm talking about where are those communities of people that wore piss pussy hats when Trump was elected out there saying this is equally as egregious that a citizen of these United States can't right. be in their home safely. Mm-hmm. This is ridiculous. So if you're quiet, mm-hmm. silence is acquiescence. Can they be an ally? So um, that. I feel like this was like a gift dropped in my lap to talk oh, to you about okay. this uh, because um, at our event, um, a very uh, senior white guy, I mean, like, like just like uber white, think white dude, and then he walks up. Right? Does he dance with an overbite? I, you know what? There was no music, but, okay. but possibly, if he did, it, it would... might, it might have happened. I don't okay. know. <laughs> but um, he came up to me and he was very excited and he was just like, this was an amazing event. And I wanted to say something on the mic, but I was scared. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I said to him, well, uh, first and foremost, thank you for being here. But we're looking for participation. We're not looking for perfection. And so I think that is a lot of it. I think that the same way people need permission to do other things, when you're talking about a very sensitive topic and people are scared to say or do the wrong thing, you sometimes have to remind them your participation is what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for you to be an expert. I'm not looking for you to solve my problems tomorrow. Or solve my problems, period. But you have to participate in this process if if you're telling me you value who I am, my life, my contribution to whatever is important to you. You have to participate in this because this is my life. This is important to me. So I think a reminder that perfection is not even possible. Participation is an absolute. 